Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm going to give it to a couple of minutes. I am a little bit early starting our webinar. So I'm just going to wait until I get everybody coming on in. This is a really good Q&A session that we are going to do, especially if you've ever been interested in our advanced program here at school. So I'm just going to chill out for a moment. And then I will be right with everybody. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hi, I'm Shannon Cavey. Um, I'm with Southeastern Aesthetics Institute. Uh, thank you for joining us today for our webinar. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be discussing a lot of a lot of advanced topics. And you, a lot of you may be interested in seeing what we have to offer here at the school. So um, let's begin. Anyway, yes, I am Shannon. I do teach the advanced aesthetics course with the assistance of Courtney, who focuses strategically on the microblading sections of the course, which is really good because you get a very wonderful, wonderful type of one-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-one learning situation when it comes to that. I've been in the industry since I retired from the Air Force, so I do have a little bit of background. I am a licensed cosmetologist, licensed esthetician, as well as a licensed instructor. So I do take my time and I'm always searching new avenues to go through to educate everybody. Um, with that being said, let's get started. Okay. If you have any questions at any time, please let me know. All right. So, our Advanced Aesthetics Academy. The whole purpose behind the Advanced Aesthetics Academy is to take our licenses one step further. It is not ending right where we thought we were going to be at one point, but it broadens our scope of practice and it makes us have to think harder, work better, know more knowledge. It picks up where our normal aesthetics or cosmetology licenses have a big gap. This involves us working in that medical field. Because in the state of South Carolina, everything, including dermaplaning, that is, you know, out of our scope of practice, we have to have a physician. So I want to talk about certain things that we have to accomplish. Number one, we do have some prerequisites. You have to have completed your aesthetics course, cosmetology course. You must be a nurse or a nurse practitioner to take our courses have a license in the field of aesthetics or cosmetology or your nursing licenses. And this will help you to broaden everything out. But that is our main requirement. Not only that, reliable transportation, things of that nature, and there is an entrance exam. Now, we do have a lot of different options when it comes to things like your lab requirements. Yes, we're hands-on. We're a very hands-on course. But I'm going to go more into that as we break down each individual modality. Okay. So we're going to talk about anything that you guys need or have the question about, please go ahead. You can either put it in the chat box and I can read it off. Because if you have a question, a lot of other people have questions. So I'm here to answer those. Okay. Or you can mute and unmute during this time and I can answer anything for you. All right, so prospective students. Yes, we do have admissions requirements. You know, we do want you to come in here and then us as instructors, we're gonna give you more hands-on time. We're gonna bridge those gaps that you may have in your education to make you a valuable asset to any physician, med spa, dermatology office, plastic surgeons, 
We're going to make you marketable to them where you're going to know a lot of tissue interactions and things like that. But we got to get you into our program first. So you will have to take a pre-entrance test. It's really simple. It's mostly us asking you questions like, do you have reliable transportation? Do you have a license in the field? Do you have, you know, a, are you in a good place financially? Because there's people that we don't want to see you drop a class if you have to work. Because our classroom is only 24 hours a week, 24 classroom hours. That includes your hands-on time. So it's only three days. So we can't have you missing classes. But the good thing is, it's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Notoriously slow spa salon days. So you're still able to work your regular jobs, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, you know, those money-making days if you're an esthetician or cosmetologist. For our nurses and everything, this helps bridge that gap with histology and everything, making sure that you can do stuff. You know the tissue interactions. You may, where, yes, I have a lot of nurses that already know histology and the basics of the skin, but we're gonna take that knowledge and really give it a strong focus versus breezing through histology, the layers of the skin, what they do and everything. We're actually gonna give you the reasons why pigment is showing up, answering those why questions. And a lot of people have a why. Why does this happen? How does this work? Why do I need this? Well, that's my job. I answer those whys. I want to make sure that you have the best education I could possibly provide you. Now, the Advanced Aesthetics Academy, yes, it is expensive. We have to pay a physician. Our on-site physicians are there two days a week. Those are our hands-on days. Those are days where you are seeing clients, where we are working you know, collectively as a class, whether it is on each other or our paying clientele to help offset the cost of the program. So we have to make sure that we are talking to different clients and we are giving them what they need. Now, a lot of people in our industry choose not to do client care plans. And I don't know why for our clients, but we take it that one step further from that relaxation standpoint to a very results oriented focus. We are here on the advanced floor all about results. Some of our treatments, yes, they can be relaxing, but it is not like your traditional spas where we're closing those doors. We're dimming those lights. No, we need lights to work. <laughs> we can't sit there and dermaplane anybody, you know, removing that vellus hair from someone's skin and that top layer of the stratum corneum. We can't do that without our bright lights being on because Sight is a very important thing. We can't microblade somebody in dim lighting. We can't, there's a lot of different things. So our relaxation standpoint is downgraded for the results orientation that we need for them. Okay, academic requirements. We do only have one day a week where we do lecture. So most everything is gonna be a hands-on type of education, which hands-on is really a good thing because that gives you that, the ability to see what your tissues are doing, see different things happening, to see the results of dermaplaning, to see those beautiful results from microblading. So we do focus heavily on hands-on. And then we have one day a week. It is a fast-paced day full of academics, strictly lecture, 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 hands-on, lecture, hands-on, lecture, hands-on. But our hands-on is different. It is not the traditional hands-on, you guys are always gonna be working on each other. It is a hands-on where you might be working on eggplants while we're, doing, while we're learning nano peel. You might be dermaplaning apples to get wax off of them because our fruit, a lot of times, if it's not organic, is covered in a wax to preserve it, to make your shelf life longer. <laughs> So there's a lot of different things. You might be using a guarded razor versus our scalpels to learn dermaplaning on each other. Because on our classroom day, we do not have the physician present. 
So we get a little inventive, plus brows. Our brow drawing and our brow portion starts that first week of education, that very, very first week. So it's pretty awesome that we give you versus your standard course in the outside world for permanent makeup or semi-permanent makeup, the ones that we are tattooing, you may only get two days. We give you three to four months of permanent makeup. Okay. Admissions requirements. Yes, you must go and schedule an appointment if you would like to join us at the Advanced Aesthetics Academy. We have a program rolling out every 13 weeks. So you will be always, it's a rolling enrollment. So every five to six weeks, you will see a new class. Five to six weeks, new class starts. But if you've ever taken our classes here at Southeastern, you know that every five weeks, we have a new class start. Well, it's the same with advanced aesthetics. We always have a new class starting. So we do have tuition requirements that we have to meet. Now, as far as tuition is concerned, we do accept VA. So if you're on GI Bill, we do accept that. There has been an ex the different types of VA options. You would have to schedule an appointment to talk to Ms. Stacy or Ms. Erin or Mr. Brandon about that. And they are there from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. taking appointments if you are interested. Um, cash payments are acceptable, student loans, things of that nature, but everybody's personal finances are going to be different. So everybody's circumstance is different. So I wanna make sure that you understand that I don't control your personal finances. So I'm not gonna give you a bunch of information, but with your tuition, I will tell you this, you get a lot of books a lot of very applicable, in-depth, detailed books that come with it, such as our laser light therapy book. Our, it's a different Milady book. It's beyond the basics, which takes your, it fills in even, bridges even more gaps for you. Goes into the different types of rosacea and how it presents. So there's a whole bunch of reasons why we are looking at all of these things as a whole. Then you also, with your tuition, receive not just your books, but Dermaplaning Kit from Dermaplaning USA, Dermaplane Pro, U Dermaplane Pro is your Dermaplaning Kit to get you started. And that's a really nice kit. Um, start the starting for that kit when you bought go to buy it online from Dermaplaning Pro is usually right around 250 just for your basic kit. So you are actually getting a pretty decent discount as far as what your tuition requirements are for that if you were to buy it out of pocket. Then you are also going to get microblading supplies. You'll get some of our most popular ink colors that are out on the market. You will get handles. You'll get the inkwell holder, ink wells, practice skins. All of this is coming to you so that you can refine the skills that you are learning within the class. Now, the only thing that we're not gonna be able to give you to take home is micro, duh, micro needling supplies as well as pro supplies, or obviously we're not gonna give you a laser to take home, you know, to, for when you are starting out in the business. Okay. Now you heard me make mention of some of the things that you will receive in there. You also receive some of our medical grade peels. Yes, you have to sign a waiver for them. These are things that have a pH of under two. So two and lower for your pH. It's pretty awesome when you have that, that big gap when it comes to having your, that lower pH. So we're able to take somebody who has exhausted all of their normal remedies and treatments, 
down in our regular relaxation spa in the licensure program or and we're able to bridge that gap and start treating them a little bit more aggressively all right is everybody under is everybody with me still okay so some of the treatments that we do offer up in our med spa is things like laser treatments. Our laser is, we utilize the Cyton Jewel. I love the Cyton Jewel because it is a multifunction machine. And in a good way, because a lot of us think of, oh, multifunction machines, and we think about, you know, the high frequency one that's combined with the skin scrubber, that's combined with a woods lamp, that's combined with, you know, a bag lamp that's combined with everything and then your steamer break, your steamer portion that's attached to it breaks down and the whole equipment's useless. It's not the case with the Cyton. The Cyton is actually a very reliable piece of equipment. It is, it does both BBL with different arms that we can attach to it. We can actually do a hybrid fractional laser, which is both ablative and non-ablative as well as nano peel technology, which is a complete resurfacing of the skin. And we teach you how and when it is appropriate to use these different functions of that laser. Our BBL, we're able to target everything from acneic conditions on someone by utilizing the blue light filters that are in our technology, all the way over to pigment and blood vessels and capillaries by targeting those three specific chromophores that are within our skin. That oxyhemoglobin, that, so that all that oxygenated blood, that pigment, pigment. And pigment is not just pigment on the skin, but it's also utilized for laser hair removal. And then the water. So we're able to relocate water you know, to do things like laser skin tightening and those type of options with that laser. So it is a very good multifunctional laser. Then we have our hybrid, our halo, which is our hybrid fractional laser. That is a completely different arm and tubing system and setup. So that allows us to, to marry both the ablative and the non-ablative in order to make it very gratifying for our clients when they receive it so it resurfaces as well as targets that deeper skin conditions. After our lasers, and we spend a lot of time in the laser room working, after our lasers we are usually ensuring our clients, we're following up with our clients, we're rescheduling our clients because they're really important to us. Well, in between laser treatments, because a lot of times we are waiting two to three weeks between each session in order for our clients to have our, their best results. Well, we also have microneedling and microchanneling. They're similar, but two very different devices are used, but similar in the fact that they both use cartridges full of very small, fine needles. So right now we are utilizing RejuvaPen for our microneedling, and we are also using ProCell devices for microchanneling. And the great thing is, is microchanneling is very specific on the cartridges, and it has a one size cartridge. So if you are going to be utilizing, it, say your physician is with you only specific days of the week like he like we have with us we only have this physician mondays and tuesdays so if we're really specific you know on days that our clients aren't with us we know when we're going to utilize certain heads and cartridges we can do the epidermis as well as our dermal layers we can get into that deep dermis because we have a 1.0 and a 1.5 needle cartridge for each one of those for our physician only services and then we have the 0.25 and the 0.5 for our non-physician days so it's it enables us to broaden that out and have a very specific thing however microneedling microneedling is a default straight to physician only 
even though we have more control of the pen, it's not a one size fit all treatment. Procell, one cartridge, one client. Well, if it's a specific depth, we're not, we're not using multiple heads to change the requirement for different pieces of the face. The forehead has a thinner skin. So what we utilize is microneedling. Microneedling is a different is a different pattern. Instead of just stamping doo, 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 all across the face, like with Procell, and we do teach this very, very strategically, microneedling is more of a gliding over the skin. Stimulating, breaking down that collagen, those stretched elastin fibrils. We're able to help flatten out scars. We've seen beautiful results with that seeing beautiful results flattening out that deep pitting post acne. So it makes a big difference on how we are treating our clients and what we are doing and what devices we are actually picking up for that client that will suit them best. Now let's talk about a typical day. A typical day on the med spa floor you know, when we are working with a physician and we are going to see clients, it always begins with us checking the schedule, seeing which clients we have, ensuring all of those clients are on the physician's schedule. Because every single client that comes to the Advanced Aesthetics Academy floor must see the physician prior to anything. They have to fill out paper documentation. It's not on a computer because now we have to create a medical folder. They have all have med files that have to be kept on record for up to seven years. It's actually seven years unless we shut down, which I'm, we're not shutting down. So seven years, that's a long time to maintain documentation. So it's really important that we get it right. Now, we do keep them on an active file for a year if we haven't seen them. In a year, we pull them and put them in the art inactive status, which we keep for the seven years. So we start there. Client comes in, we greet them. We're always friendly because we, we don't do grumpy gas up on our, at any floor that we have at the school because I can't have sad panda. You know, we put everything aside personally and we always show our best face because our best face forward is always that that warms, that warms that we all have, that we're all capable of, you know? That doesn't mean you have to be the silly smiler unless that's your normal personality. It just means you're gonna have a warmth about you. You're gonna welcome, welcome people in, hand them their folder, fill out, can you fill out these client intake forms for me? As soon as you're done, we will get you in to see the physician. Now, it is a very busy day up there. The physician can get backlogged very easily. So we help our physician out by ensuring, you know, we are always getting a next client in, next client in and everything. We abide by our schedule, but we're always getting those clients in as they show up to see the physician. And then we filter them down based on what services are they getting? Are they getting a laser service? We can only do one laser service at a time because we only have one piece of laser equipment and it does all three functions. So it doesn't matter if they're getting a BBL, a halo or a nano, any of those functions or laser hair removal or laser skin tightening. Those five services, only one of those five can be performed at one time. So the laser room is always there. It's always hot in there. So we are always on everybody and each other drink a lot of water. You know, we drink a lot of water on our floor. So it is so that you can stay healthy and hydrated because our laser room gets hot. Plus you have the stress of, I am now entering somebody's dermis. We're no longer strictly focusing on the epidermis unless we're dermaplaning. We are actually in the dermis. And since we're in the dermis or we're breaking the skin, you know, What's even more important is our safety and sanitation procedures. So safety and sanitation procedures, I want you to think about this for a second. 
safety and sanitation is paramount in our industry. It doesn't matter where you're at. If somebody is unclean, if somebody is not picking up the slack, if somebody does not have good sanitary practices and it goes all the way down to fingernails and personal hygiene, you know, it makes a difference. It's all in how we represent ourselves because now we can actually cause injury and infection by our sanitation practices. So we are always helping each other out. We're creating that barbicide. We're changing our barbicide very regularly. We are spraying down our beds. We are disposing of all of our tools in the proper manner. All of our consumables. We have blood exposure procedures because things like microchanneling, microneedling, and especially microblading, all three of those by themselves all draw blood or body fluid. You may see some lymph, you may see some blood. It's all there because we are using needles to break into that dermis, that papillary layer, you know, so we will see some bleeding on people. So it's very important that we are properly disposing of our sharps. We are properly just double bagging all of our exposed things like our gauze, our table coverings, all of that gets, gets disposed of in a proper manner. And we go over that and we, we sit you down and we teach you how to set up and how to break down and when to double bag for our clients and when it's not necessary. So it's a big thing. It is a big thing. But we as instructors are there with you the whole time. You will see Courtney and I work in tandem with each other. The physician is also on site and will oversee procedures. So you are not alone ever. We are always there. And with us always being there, we are always busy, which is great because it enables us to come very close as a class. All of my classes have been very, very close knit, especially the two different classes that I have now. Super close knit classes. And I really love that for them because these are friends you will build for life. These are friends you will build for life. And, you know, just like we, dysfunctional families, you know, we don't squabble on floors. Yes, every so often somebody's real personality comes out, they have a bad day. But a lot of that comes into play with me pulling people aside. And I do. I do. If you need to talk for any reason, I'm there for you. And everybody gets my home phone number. Everybody gets my cell phone number. Because I want you to do feel comfortable with what you're doing, especially when it comes down to microblading, laser technology, microneedling, dermaplaning. This is more than just a facial. This is more than just that. Does anybody have any questions for me so far? I'm telling you, this is where my baby lies. My passion lies up in the advanced floor. Um, a little bit more about me. I got into aesthetics because of a family member had really bad alopecia. Um, an esthetician working with this person uh, helped her get through a lot. Now, when she, I say she has alopecia, she has no hair. We got her hair to come back on her scalp, but she has no hair from her hairline down. It's bald. Completely, nothing. And those of us that shave every, you know, we're shaving, we're waxing, we're laser hair removing, all the other parts, this girl don't have to. But with that, she also lost her eyebrows. It took an esthetician creating that level of confidence within this person and my family, you know, to make it personal for her, help her understand that, yes, she is beautiful, with or without eyebrows. And then it came to the point of she could live without having any hair anywhere on her body except for her eyebrows. That was her self-conscious point. At the time, the state of South Carolina was not allowing tattooing. That esthetician went above and beyond and got her and got us in contact with people in North Carolina, a med spa in North Carolina that did tattooing of the brows. And it made a world of difference. 
She did not have to do that, but she did. So, and that created this whole calm within her because now she had eyebrows. Now people could see that she didn't have just a mean face. She had expression again, because when you lose your eyebrows, it's very, it's a sensitive thing because people can't see when you raise your brows, when you're happy, you know, they see your mouth making the contours, but they don't see that raise and movement of your eyebrow muscles, of all your corrugator moving, you know? Um, it inspired me, it really did. That person inspired me to be a better cosmetologist, to take my education one step further for people. And then the natural progression was, the reason why I came to aesthetic school was so that I could make it better for somebody else, so that I could be better for my own family. And advanced aesthetics, it really does impact people because when everything fails in your normal treatment room and you still have somebody that has acne, now you can branch out and take it one step further and utilize a laser. I had my one client, she still comes to us, my one client, I love her to death. I will never forget her because she has her original client care plan. And she still wants to stick to that thing, but her skin has changed remarkably well. Um, she had followed everything I ever told her before, while I was going through the Aesthetics Academy. Uh, she was taking care of her skin. She changed all her products to professional lines. You know, she stopped buying Clinique. She stopped buying everything and she started to really concerning herself with her skin. As my education grew and I was working for a med spa, I was actually working for Courtney down at Pura. <laughs> I was able to branch off and now and start laser treatments on this client. And when I was able to incorporate the laser treatments, her acne conditions really started responding. It started healing faster. And she started getting excited for her results. And, you know, and it was my first real impact that I was able to make because this person would come to me, I'd close my doors and she'd be in tears. And then I was able to make that impact for them. I'm able to do this with some of my students when I'm doing demos. I'm able to show them, hey, I can, you can make a difference with learning this, learning laser technology, learning how to utilize it to make that condition better for your client to help them get those results faster even than traditional simple relaxation therapies. We're able to help people that have melasma. Maybe they had acne excoriae where they were picky, they were acne pickers. We are able to help them for different reasons. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing that we are doing for our clients. Now imagine yourself out there working with plastic surgeons. People don't just go to a plastic surgeon just to go to a plastic surgeon. They see something within themselves that they want to improve. So that it's up to that plastic surgeon who is now a surgical artist. And they see the big value in having a fully trained esthetician, somebody that knows how to operate those lasers, knows tissue interaction, can dermaplane, and they're using hydrofacial like you wouldn't believe to make these improvements for their clientele. And now if you have that passion and you're able to translate it to get a client's results and you're able to articulate what you want for them, able to put it to words, very intelligent words. You're use, utilizing histology. You're utilizing the anatomy and physiology of that skin. You're talking about their dermis. You're talking to your clients about what you can do for them on a very technical level. And you're able to break it down even further so that you can simplify it for your client, but not sound like you're dumbing it down. Simplifying and dumbing are two different things. Simplifying means you're just putting it in very simple terms. You're not using 
exactly technical terms. You're not going to use, a lot of clients don't speak in open or closed comedo. They speak in, I got a pimple or a blemish. You know, so you're just putting it in everyday jargon. It doesn't mean you were actually making somebody feel less than. We have the education. We can back it. And it is an awesome thing. All right. I'm going to open up the floor for questions. I'm going to open this up for questions. So feel free to ask me anything about the advanced aesthetics. Anything at all? Does anybody have any questions or anything? See a couple of our staff. Can you hear me, Shannon? I can hear you, yes. Okay. I do have a question. It doesn't have anything to do with this presentation. Is that okay? Um, if it doesn't have anything to do, does it have to do with advanced modalities? No, it has to do with something that I heard early on another presentation. Okay, let's let's pen that and okay. do it strictly for advanced aesthetics, okay? Okay. Hi, Shannon. I wonder if you can tell me, is this course going to be required to work in a dermatologist or plastic surgery office? It is not required, but it is highly encouraged. And the reason why we encourage it is because when you go to work for a dermatology or, any, or a plastic surgery or a med spa, they don't teach you how those tissue interactions. They don't have time for that. They'll teach you how to work the equipment, but that's it. They're not gonna teach you, oh, I might need this specific filter, you know, due to the color. I might need a red to help target, you know, rosacea and target that oxyhemoglobin in the blood. They're gonna teach you, I know how, this is how you fire our laser, do, 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 and that's it. Or they're not gonna teach you, they're gonna show you real quick how to, microneedle someone and move on. They're not going to show, tell you why you're doing it or what depths are going to be best for what conditions. And we fill in that why. We fill in the why. Very good. Thank you. And, and one last closing question. Does this course end in some sort of another licensure exam, like an advanced exam, or are we given certificates of you, this is various this, that's a good question. This is a, cert, a, a certificate-oriented class. So you would have a certificate for each modality that you learn. You'll have a certificate for microblading, one for dermaplaning, one for microneedling, one for microchanneling, one for laser, you know, and our medical grade peels. So it is a really good thing because maybe you're only interested in one facet or two facets of this, but having something to fall back on is really important. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? These are all good questions. I really love them. Okay. So one last thing, graduation. Graduation. Let's talk about graduation for a little bit. We do do a couple of different presentations um, and we do a couple of different projects. And one of the projects that we do is your resume. We help you write your resume and rewrite your resume so that it is med spa focused so that we can get you those better jobs. Those ones that a lot of us are looking for outside, you know, to work in dermatology offices, plastic surgery offices. You know, and we also teach you how to interact with physicians because interacting with a physician is totally different than interacting with one of your peers. Physicians all have very high standards. It comes with, you know, they usually, it's their license that's on the line, not ours anymore. We are now operating under their license and their malpractice insurance. So, when you graduate, we want to make sure that we're putting our best face forward and you are all representative of us at the schoolhouse. And so we want to make sure that you are that well-rounded package. 
So we're not going to sit there, even though you might be focused on microblading, that may be where your love and your heart and your passion is, but you just, you can't make money off of only microblading unless you have a huge thing because that client is only going to see you once a year, once every six months after their initial touch up, they have their session. Then they six weeks, four to six weeks later, you see them again. And then a year later, that's when you'll see them. So you can't make money off of that one client only seeing them once a year for a touch up. So we want you to have these other things to fall back on because we teach you how to document medical charts. You could actually fill in the gaps for your physicians, your dermatology offices, your plastic surgery offices as a medical assistant. We have a lot of estheticians out in the field right now, and we have a really good success rate and placement rate um, that are filling in their gaps between clients working as medical assistants, meaning that they are assisting in the surgical rooms. They're helping to set it up. They're helping to clean up, you know, so plastic surgeons love a good medical assistant. They love somebody that can chart for them that where you can actually read what's being written. <laughs> they love somebody that can set up that understands, you know, Oh, when I'm setting up, this client is going to need protective eyewear. This client's going to need, you know, we're going to have to set up the numbing. We're going to have to set up everything. And we teach you that. We teach you those basics. Now you will have to finesse it working for a physician for their likes and concerns, but we teach you those basics. You know, sometimes you need to numb a client. You know, sometimes you need that everybody, when you're working in the laser room, needs some form of eye protection. So we make sure that you have those background skills that may not always be present when you are working that first day, that day one. We will get you in that day one door where you're not going to be a bumbling person because you've never interacted with anything where you've never maybe operated a laser you've never done everything you know it's just like switching between chemical peel lines if you know the ingredients you know how to work you know how to apply it so if you know the basics of laser operation you will know how to apply it when you go to switch over to a different form of laser um, expectations, yes, we fully expect our, our students to be employed. We have that expectation, you know? Do we know that sometimes it takes a little longer to find that, that really dream job? Yeah, but our reach is really good. We are able to place students. We have graduates that work up in Huntersville, North Carolina. We have graduates that work in Charleston, Augusta, we have all kinds of different places, as well as Texas, Las Vegas. <laughs> One of my good friends works out at a med spa in Vegas. And now I get it right now, we're all shut down. But able to fill in those gaps, medical assisting, she's not unemployed out in Las Vegas, working at that med spa because she can be a medical assistant. So that makes a big difference, especially when you're talking about our economy and what we're doing right now, right? Any other questions from anybody? I'm really enjoying talking with everyone. I miss everybody who goes to school with us. All right, if you ever have any questions, feel free to contact me uh, or the school or air the school phone number is area code 803-814-1772. That's 803-814-1772. And our admissions office is still working. Um, you are also welcome to hit me on email and I will contact you back or via my phone number. So my email is shannon at seaestheticsinstitute.com and my phone number is 803 Four six eight two nine six nine. That's eight zero three four six eight two nine six nine. And I'm happy to answer any questions that you have at any time. All right. Um. Any other? Any questions? Any questions? Does anybody need me to hang out? Okay. I'm going to end this meeting now.
uh, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Angelina, Miss Snipes, go ahead and- um, Yes, I'm here. All right. We're, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give me a call. Okay. And I will talk to you about whatever you needed, okay? Okay. Well, it was an aesthetics question. Um, it has something okay. to do with a uh, process that Courtney mentioned. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm.